the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the governor of Edo State, Governor Goswil Obaseke, explodes. He said they cannot secure Nigeria from the center anymore. But guys, before we proceed, welcome back to this wonderful channel to bring you back to back updates and information as they hurt. In case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all our amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for staying to us. All our viewers out there, thank you so much for staying to us. So guys, let's dive into the main gist. Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseke, has given a niche for himself by being blunt, has saturating his opinion and always speaking things to power. The strong wig governor hosted a crew member of the Vanguard newspaper in Benin City, as usual. And he spoke on the state of the nation, his service to Edo people, and among many other things, what he will be doing after leaving office. So he saved the Vanguard queue, the first of the two-part interview, where he was asked that other persons have been talking about restructuring, but he has been vocal about the economy, like the printing of money and all that, that some people thought that he was exaggerating. <laughs> so they asked him if he actually did. Godwin Obasiki said that he saw the underbelly of Nigeria open during COVID-19. And after COVID-19, they were here, locked up, and couldn't go anywhere. So he thought that was a wake-up call for them to maintain their distance and move ahead. But he didn't say it that way. They printed money like many countries did. But as people did not work, that contributed to our burden. He said if we check the federal government, they never fulfilled their budget in the last 20 to 30 years. They always spend money than they earn. But under Mohamed Buhari, it's escalated particularly after COVID-19. That COVID meant that you had to put in money <laughs> in the system. That everybody in the world did it. And everybody is suffering that now. That is why we have global inflation. But ours was excess. So we have a normal problem under normal circumstances that we have to deal with inflation in the last 20 years. And then COVID-19 happened that we were still behaving the way we used to behave. And that added to COVID-19 effects. Godwin Obaseke said that he was panicked, that it was like people did not see what he saw, that the amount of money they put in takes almost a decade to digest. That is why he raised the alarm and everybody started shouting at him. <laughs> when he was asked if things have changed now, Godwin Obaseke said no, because it has become structural. Unless they redesign the system to earn more, if they are relying on crude oil, that the system should allow the people to produce more. That today we are producing 1.2 million barrels per day and cannot keep up. He said the only way we can improve it is to say Edo State, you have 107 wells and only 53 are producing. That the system is supposed to say that Mr. Governor, take, get people to exploit. Whatever you produce, keep this, give us that. Governor Basege asks, will he not jump to that? He said they will not go to Zanfra and do the same thing. That Zanfra, you have this mining site. Go, own your license and we will help you supervise this. Will they not jump at it? Now, pay 60 or 4% into the Federation account. Unless we grow to that, we will not increase our revenue. Now, even security will not grow. And they cannot secure this country from the center anymore. So, Godwin Obateke said that our country needs a redesign urgently. So, <laughs> they told him that, he be like, say, Governor Obaseki seems to toe the line of restructuring. But he said no, that is not restructuring, but redesign, that this design has expired. So the system has to be redesigned. That some people pushed this in our recent history, that the late Bola Ige was one, and he said that all politics was local, that he was the first Yoruba man before being in Nigeria. Late Vice President Alex Ekweme talked about six regions, so specifically, well, Governor Goswil Obaseke said that if you check, we are where we are. We are 36 states and we cannot do much about it. He said he's not sure that Delta want to join us again to be Bendel. That we are 36. How do we now recognize ourselves among the 36 states? That the first thing is to dissolve power to everybody. Let us now have a strong center in different way. Let those who are strong enough be on their own. But we all must now contribute to the center. And not the center taking it. So those things should be reversed. Otherwise, we will not get the full potential of the country. Because this country is too rich. That those in government particularly, the lawmakers, are not ready for this. So how can such change occur? Governor Godwin Obaseke said that he has served as governor, that the other position he may want to aspire to will be president, but he cannot aspire to be president of Nigeria under this structure. <laughs> governor Godwin Obaseke talked about the printing of currency. He said that the National Electoral Commission 
castigated him that they had a meeting where some people were saying that no that he shouldn't have jumped the gun to announce his minimum wage but he said that is not a union that he felt that after one year after such a fundamental economic shift there should be something better for his people that they have suffered too much that he woke up every day seeing them suffering and unable to eat and they expect him to say that he is waiting for somebody to finish his negotiation before helping his people that no if they finish with their negotiation whatever it is they will now align nobaseki was asked if a do state can be like Lagos. godwin nobaseki said that the president has many challenges on his table and for them to help him that every governor should focus on his state they should try to make sure that they do things right to make the state peaceful and orderly so that should not add to mr president's problem he talked about redesigning the country that those are the big issues he should be thinking about that how can we build essentials around that but if they disturb him every day with banditry here and there and kidnappings that they are not helping the process. Godwin Obaseke said that he has more cash and he can afford a higher wage. That is why he can afford to pay a higher salary to Edo workers. He have more and for the first time, he is balancing his budget and he pay contractors and he will leave office without any debt for any successor. But he can do nothing about the inflation. He said he's paying them in the same naira that they worked for a few years ago but it is not the same value because of the inflation that like in nigeria we do not think in relative term that even though he have just done seventy thousand minimum wage it is less in value than when he was paying forty thousand that what he is doing now in edo state is investments that they do not have to wait for revenue from crude oil that they have a land they have given 70,000 hectares of land to about seven companies in the last three years to do oil palm. So they have them to do the clearing and they have a global agency responsible for oil palm production so that whatever they produce in Edo can be acceptability at the international level. So these are what he is doing. When he was asked that, he survived all his fight with his predecessor, Adam Sochumele, and he persisted in the recent one with his deputy, that what is the magic? Godwin Obaseke said at first, that he must appraise this fight, that what they are about, that these are fight over principle, but they are not personal. For instance, in the struggle with his predecessor, that they all agreed that they were coming to change the state from where they met it. That where a few people just sat down and decided on who they would give what and what responsibilities in the state. That was what they came for. So they agreed, they fought, they succeeded. And that was the premise on which he came to power. That he did not come to share money. He did not come to make money. He came to serve. So he have been working the way he knew to make life better for the people. Then some people came to tell him something else that he should do something else that will not allow him to achieve that goal. That the option was to leave. He said they told him that he needs some compromise, but he restored, saying that they could not compromise his core values. He said he prayed to God to allow him to serve the people. And God did that. And now they want him to come and serve himself or serve some people. He said God will not be happy with him. Therefore, whatever he do is based on principle. So they are in government not to enrich themselves, but to grow the entire society because in doing so if it is good for the people it will be better for them all that god favor him because he knows that the fight he is fighting is not about him is how to make the next million dollar is about how to give assistance how to help people so for him and his deputy he said that if <laughs> the person do not allow equity and fairness then there is no basis of the person being a governor because he hid from a minority group. <laughs> so, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, opinions in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to me.